I got a new project. And it happens to do with that. So my new project today actually consists of the roof rack uh, and I want to address the receding hairline of the front runner rack that I have in comparison to the uh, very top of the windshield. I'm not a big fan of how it is super spaced out like that so I'm actually going to make it longer and that's what front runner is so good at is the fact that they have so many pieces where you can customize and make your uh, make your rack a little bit more fitting for your car how you want it personally and I'm gonna go just one size bigger just so it will uh, come out to here uh, and it will also help with the awning and fit right up against that now I got a new platform here there's only gonna go one more platform and then I have the two side rails that are right here um, and I have something very special in the box, if you can't guess it already. Can you tell what it is? Oh, and I have those too. Those are, those are very special. And you're gonna see what those are. So, uh, it is just me today. Uh, and the first order of business is to pull off that awning, pull off that box, and then drop the rack again. And then I gotta also take off the ax mount, the uh, expedition rails that I kinda have on there. Uh, so that rope is going to probably end up coming off entirely uh, and then I will also have to relocate the shovel mount itself. So I will be uh, pretty much doing a complete disassembly of this rack uh, and I'm not going to completely bore you guys with that. And that's that. The uh, awning is off and the box actually came off. They both came off pretty quickly and she looks so naked now without any of it. I'm already so used to it. All right, so continuing on. Okay, November. However, it's still 80 degrees outside of here in Southern California. And I got the rack off. And she looks weird. <laughs> she looks really, really weird. That rack was uh, is a lot heavier than I remember. Probably because there was two people putting on the roof last time. Uh, but taking it off by yourself, it's a little heavy. Now I'm gonna make it heavier. So I'm uh, still uh, cutting away here at the rack and I have now moved the expedition rails and I have pulled the rope off that I put on. Um, I probably will uh, rewrap that later. Actually, it looks kind of like curly fries. Okay, well, after a couple hours, um, no, more like an hour, um, this, uh, this rack is fully disassembled. All the sides are off, each, each slat. Um, that I found out is one piece and found out that that is also one piece. So that is a designated rear and designated front slat. Um, I didn't actually realize that this was all one piece. It's all one large aluminum piece. These, this one and that one are matching. Um, so that one's gonna stay the front. This one's gonna stay the rear. And I think I'm gonna keep the expedition rails, but not wrap it again because I might have, I may have just cut it up. I've really wrapped it up good. So now I have to uh, split it at this joint here. There's a nice, nice seam here. This short one here is gonna stay, but this one long one is gonna get replaced with the longer one. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing on that side. I got it lined up there and it is different. You can see how much longer you get. This is a probably eight inch difference total. So it's eight inches longer, which is gonna give me uh, probably right exactly where I wanted it to be anyways. And I'll probably set the rack a little bit further toward the back and the front, even it out as best as I can. But now it's gonna be pretty much a full rack and I think that's gonna look a lot better. Won't have much of a receding hairline anymore. Uh, and yeah, okay, let's do that. I have an idea. 
So I was working and I grabbed the old one here and I was thinking, I was like, man, these things are, you know, they're still good. I mean, like, what could I use it for? Should I, should I keep them? Should I sell them? But I had another idea. What if the focus on a front runner roof rack? So the length is good. The length comes out here a little bit, a little bit. I actually think that's actually kind of a cool length. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I rock a should I rock a front runner rack on the focus? It's a whole lot more rack. Well, I got the, now I got the uh, uh, expedition rails back on, uh, out of the length. Now I'm going to put the rack back up on the roof, and then I'm gonna assemble the mounts and everything else back on it. So I got it mounted now. All I have to do is do its final tightening and then I can throw the awning and the ax mount and the shovel mount and the box up there and then I will finally be done. This is actually taking a bit longer than I anticipated, but that that's all right. I set the day aside for it, so it'll be fine. Is the next day and I cannot believe how much better this looks I went one size bigger and it made a huge huge difference world changing this is probably the best thing I have done to this truck in a long time and it looks so so good I went ahead I added that one slat which took longer than I expected but it works and it's done I added that 40 inch light bar and I have it wired up um, to the factory switch, which was really nice. I was able to utilize that. I got that switch here. This is the factory fog light one. And then I added that one for the, uh, the light bar. So now I have those two. On top of that, I went a little bit further and I added some scene lights. Actually, I have one here. I have one under the awning on the other side for night wheeling do some night driving. That helps out so much when you're driving at night. I still have to wire those ones up. This is wired up. Um, and I'm gonna wire the side lights individually for the purpose of, um, well, can't see it. Here, there it is. It's a little tucked away under the awning, uh, but when, it's, when the awning is out, you should be able to use it as a camping light. Um, and then it would be nice to use that when you're in some of the darkest locations. So I will end up uh, rewiring uh, pretty much a lot of it. Um, I want to add a little switch panel up here. I'm gonna move those, that's fine. Little switch panel with a few switches. I'll have um, my uh, right and the left outside scene lights on that switch. I eventually would like to have a locker, just at least for the rear and electric locker. Hey, Ted. <laughs> the electric rear locker. Um, I'm also gonna wire up um, the outer uh, white lights that I have and my uh, chase light on that. So I'll have five, that's five switches on there and that's gonna probably be uh, the most I will do for a while. This looks so good. This looks absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. One size made a whole difference.